hello hello and hello if you are new to my channel do not forget to like comment share subscribe my name is Samila so before we go any further I just want to say this to the 51 souls that are subscribed to my channel I just want to say may God bless you may God keep you because guess what there will be more in store God's willing that I will bring out okay so I am I know this is a test to see if I can be responsible for shepherding 51 souls and it's with sound true doctrine because at the end of the day I am not one of these that's gonna sugarcoat y'all mm -mm. and tonight is actually a rebuke video and it's actually surprising who I'm going to rebuke because one at one point in this in my life I actually inspired I was actually so much inspired by this young woman um, when she came on the scene and everything I'm talking about Sierra so her dress I wouldn't even call that thing a dress so yes this review video is not just for her it's for her husband too because I'm gonna hold them both accountable okay I'm gonna hold them both accountable because one she's a wife Two, her husband should have put his foot down. You see what I'm saying? One, at the end of the day, there's a time and place to dress sexy, and there's a time and place to dress modesty. Okay? If you want to dress sexy, do it at home for your husband. Okay? But hood, it's like, oh, when I say I was mad, y'all, I was mad. I was mad with a capital M. And I wanted to write her a message. But I said, you know what? I'm just going to make the video. And send this video to her. It's important. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you why I'm holding them both accountable. At one point in an interview, y'all can look it up if y'all want to. But this came out of Russell's mouth. He said one time, Sierra had a show and they were in her dressing room. And as she was getting dressed, he sat down. And he heard a voice saying to guide her. And he believed that voice was God. And I was like, whoa. Now it makes me wonder, if you're supposed to guide her, why you not tell her, hey, babe, I don't think you should wear that. Nothing wrong with you wearing it around me. But not around the kids, but, you know, not around me when we're at home and we, you know, we're having that late time, intimate time together. But that dress, I ain't gonna call it a dress. That shouldn't be worn out in public because y'all, it was showing everything. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. It was showing everything. And I, to me, let me tell y'all something. When I was going to high school, I was on my way to go to high school. A pastor came for a youth revival. He came the first night. And I remember he said something to me that it still resonates with me because at that time when I was a young girl, I wanted to show my stomach. I wanted to wear tops that, you know, show my stomach and everything. But my daddy didn't allow it. So, yeah, my daddy and my mama, they did not allow that. But um, he said, young girls, you ain't got to be like Sierra showing your stomach. And I thought about it. I was like... I just sat there with my mouth open, like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, maybe he sees something in me that I didn't see in myself. At the time, I did not know my true identity was in Christ. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not know my true identity was in Christ. Okay? Didn't know that. But, um, yeah, because even when she came out, she was wearing... Yeah, I know the bikini top and the jeans and all that, just showing the stomach, even, yeah, with the topics and all that. Yep, yep, yep. But I remember the first dress that she wore to the Grammys, her first Grammy, and she won. It was a beautiful, I, I loved the dress. It was white and it was so pretty on her. Mama didn't like the dress, but I loved the dress. And the reason why I'm bringing up this dress, one, she was modest very modest with this dress that she had on y'all very modest with 
what she wore to her first Grammys. And she won the gra- a, a Grammy too. But she looked so angelic and white, y'all. I am not going to lie. She was so pretty in this dress. Like I said, I love this dress that she had on. My mama didn't like it. But I thought it was pretty on her. She, she did. She looked nice, pretty. But, and I mean, but, and I'm going to say this one more time, but what she wore to the Oscars this past Sunday, <sighs> trash. It was, it was trashy. It was not classy. Her hair was cute. I'll give her that. But what she wore, it was trashy. It was screaming harlot. It was screaming... It was screaming other derogatory things. It was screaming that. It wasn't screaming classy. It was screaming trashy. Now, if she wouldn't wear that for her husband, she could. Because that was a place and time for them to be intimate if they wanted to be at home. Okay? But what she wore, y'all, it was just, it was so disgusting. Like, you could see the outline of her breasts, her derriere. And probably even the up front and all that, but I, I didn't like it one bit. One bit. And I was when I say I'm extremely disappointed, I'm extremely disappointed. I was extremely disappointed. This is why I'm gonna hold her accountable too. One, she's a mother. She's a mother. She has a daughter. Not just a daughter, but she has two boys. Now this is why I'm gonna hold both her and Russell accountable. Sierra, what are you teaching? your daughter by wearing that dress that type of I'm not, I'm not gonna even call it a dress I'm wearing something skimpy like that what are you telling her that it's okay to be to dress sleazy and all no it's not but most important you and your husband both claim to be Christians you and your husband y'all be doing outreach ministry I've seen a video of y'all most recently going to a prison and y'all visiting it. You wasn't wearing anything sleazy. Matter of fact, you was in t-shirt and jeans. You were wearing t-shirt and jeans. So why on earth? And then Russell, you're supposed to be the head of the household. You said you heard God telling you to guide her. But how can you guide her if you're going to condone the outfit that she wore? What are you sending for your boys? And yes, I'm saying little future is yours too because you raised them and you took them as your own. What are you teaching them? That it's okay to condone what their wives, when they get up older and they have wives, that it's okay for their wives to be dressing in and any type of way and them condoning it? I looked at the outfit. And I said, the love of my life that I'm with right now, he will have a fit if I walked out the house like that. And I wouldn't hear the end of his rent because this man know he can rent. But I'm just keeping it real. How can you both say you serve God? But yet, Russell, you allowed your wife to dress in that skimpy outfit. To be very provocative. How can you say you are? You follow God. They choose. Matter of fact, there's a time that y'all was in um, a church, and both of you and your wife were at the altar. Both of you and Sierra, y'all both at the altar, surrendering. 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 And she didn't have on anything skimpy. She had on a cute dress that I liked it. It was long sleeve and all, but it was cute. Now it's not the time. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all this. This is a big one too. If y'all both are saying y'all are, you know, Christians, why on earth are y'all going to a demonic place in the first place? Why are y'all going to the Oscars? Hollywood is no longer hiding who they serve. Hollywood is no longer hiding who they work for. Hollywood is no longer, no longer, no longer 
hiding. So why would y'all want to associate yourselves in an organization, a demonic place, that's no longer hiding the demonic things that they do? Now is not the time to compromise with the work. Now is not the time to compromise with the word. Now is the, ch- is the time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. Now is the time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. And I know this is a very short video, but I had to say this because I could not really find the words of the Lord. I think it's best I just do a video. I said I was not going to let this slide. And there are people. One thing I'm not going to do, I'm going to continue to pray for my favorite couple because they are my favorite couple. I love them. But I don't place them on the pedestal because you see what I just did. I just rebuked them. You never place people on the pedestal. Why? People fall short. Let me say this one more time. People fall short. We all fall short. But my point is this. I was not going to let this slide. Not going to let this slide. Because when you are a wife, let me tell y'all this. Ladies, I need y'all to hear me. When you are a wife, you're supposed to present yourself in a godly way anyway. Because God honors husbands and wives. He don't honor um, boyfriend and girlfriend, baby mama and baby daddy, two people that are engaged. No, no, no. The Bible strictly speaks on marriage because marriage is what? A ministry. This is why too many people, this is why so many marriages fail because they don't realize marriage is a ministry. It's not nothing to be idolized. Because guess what? I'm going to tell y'all something. I had a dream about my favorite uncle. It's actually my great uncle. had a dream about him. And I asked him, I said, Oh, when do trials and tribulations, you know, come during a marriage? And he looked at me and he said, Right after the honeymoon. That's what he said. And I believe that because you know what? The tense, there, there's no, let me put it like this. I'm trying to be very wise. Once you become one, once you become one with your spouse, husband and wife, when y'all come together, when you both become one flesh, that is the time. And I mean, that is the time when you're going to be tested with an unexpected bill, an unexpected injury, or unexpected um, sur- surgery, unexpected, you know, tragedy in the family, unexpected, um, you know, late nights and all that. So unexpected stuff is going to happen that's going to put you through the test. Whether y'all going to stand 10 toes together, well, I'm saying 20 toes together because... Man got ten toes and the woman got ten toes, or y'all just gonna fall, y'all gonna be like you know fall apart and be like just forget it. People want to divorce over the smallest things. The Bible only grants us divorce for two reasons: um, abandonment and also adultery. Because I'm not saying with a man if he's going to stay, um, not stay, but step outside our marriage. No. That is one thing I'm not going to do. I mean that. And I definitely am not going to stay with somebody that's going to put his hands on me. Excuse the laughter in the background. But I have to say this because, you know, back then I remember when Russell and Sierra got together. Oh, Everybody was like, "What's this prayer?" All the I mean, all the women was like, "What's this prayer? What's this prayer that she said?" And I watched her interview, and she said she prayed for discernment. She prayed for discernment. And a lot of times, you know, when we we don't pray and ask for discernment, we don't. But let me tell you something. I speak on discernment a lot. Whenever I was on Facebook, I'd be like. Okay, it's important. I cannot stress this enough, y'all. 
keep asking God for discernment. Okay? Keep asking for it. Keep asking for it. Because God gives it to you. There's one there's a difference between discernment and discerning of spirits. When something ain't right with somebody, it's time for you out of bounds. But I had to hold yes. So in this video I had to hold these two accountable. Because one, the husband is supposed to lead. The husband is supposed to have godly control of his house. Yes. He's supposed to have godly control. Why? He is the head. God is going to hold him accountable. And then also, what the, what the um, God told Eve, your husband going to rule over you. That's what he said. So, yes, the husband's supposed to be the head. He is supposed to be the head. And I was like, why? I was like, wrestling the hair go out there like that? Like, that's just something I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't really do. I wouldn't even wear anything like that. And I, another thing, like I said, I don't wish any downfall on these two. Because I love these two. And I admire them. But, I've seen comments where people are like already predicting that this marriage won't work. And I'm like, let me tell y'all something. You're praying for their downfall. You're praying on their downfall. Instead, instead of doing what I'm doing, rebuking both of them, holding them both accountable, because marriage is between three people. God, husband, wife, okay? Husband, wife, God, okay? Because what happened? Russell then put his foot down. And I know God is disappointed in both of them, like, how y'all gonna say y'all follow me? And she's showing her tail. She's wearing something skimpy. You, as her husband, didn't put your foot down and say, baby, no. And then a lot of times, this is where a lot of people be like, oh, you know, men just wanna control everything. No, 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 and no. No, it's not to the point about controlling. It's to the point when you go out, especially something like that. When you go out to something like that, any event. Matter of fact, let me tell y'all who was very modest and elegant, I thought. Angela Bassett. And I will have a video for her later on. It's actually an encouraging, an encouraging video, to be honest. But Angela Bassett. She and her daughter, they were dressed alike, and her husband and her son were dressed alike. When I say elegant with a capital E, I mean elegant with a capital E. They were dressed elegant. They were dressed with grace and style. She wasn't wearing with them young folks how they was dressed. No. And I understand that part of that. Well, Sierra, young. she's young, but she is a mother. So what is she teaching her daughter? That's it okay to go out and show your tail and everything. I did not like it. I don't do a new dress. Me, my dress has to be either halter. Yeah, I like halter, um, halter neck dresses, but they're still gonna be long. And um, I have to show you one of these days. I'm gonna show y'all the type of dresses I like. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all. But I just couldn't let this slide. I couldn't let this slide. I'm like, how are they both going to be doing God's work? Yet, he letting his wife go out like this. So I'm going to hold them both accountable. And I mean them both accountable because at the end of the day, it is what it is. Because Well, it's not what it is. It's not. Because at the end of the day, you won't have to choose. This is the season that the wheat and the tears are going to be separated, okay? This is the season of the wheat and the tear being separated. Why? Too many people are compromising their faith. They are compromising their faith. Compromising it. They're compromising their faith. And
And it's sad. They're just compromising it for clout. I think she was doing compromising this for attention. Because not everything she does that's on IG, I agree with, I like. And I'm just going to keep it real. I'm not going to compromise my face liking a post of someone that's new, promoting nudity and all that. That's, that's not me. That, that's not me. To the Wilsons. And yes, I'm going to dress y'all like that because y'all are married. Choose this day whom ye shall serve. And I mean choose this day wisely. It's time to examine yourself. Because how can you be followers of the most high, yet you're dressing any type of way, you're doing all this other stuff, and that's not really pleasing or anything. And you're going to these parties, and we all know what goes on at these parties. We all know what goes on at these parties. Now is not the time to compromise your face just for change, a little chump change, some clout, fame, all this stuff. No, 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 no. You're going to be bold about your face? Be bold about your face. Stand firm on the word of God. Stand firm on the word of God. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. It's time to choose to stay whom ye shall serve. And it's time to be godly parents. It's time to. It, it's just time. It's time. It's time to seek. It's time to seek after Jesus. This is the season and the time to do it now. And this is the time to examine your life. It's time to repent. It's time to fast, pray, watch. Because we don't know the time or hour when Jesus will return. It's time. And I mean it's time. I'm going to say this one more time. It is time to choose this day. Excuse me. Whom ye shall serve. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. So, I am going to end my video on this note. And I know it's for the Wilsons, but I think and I really believe that I should be doing this every night. Because I don't know who stumbles upon my channels. It's like every minute, every... I just don't know. I'm going to keep it real on one, twos, and threes. I just don't know who's going to subscribe to this channel. I really don't. I don't know if they're saved. I don't know if they're not saved. It's time to choose this day whom ye shall serve. So I'm going to say this. If you or someone you know that don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you will want to make Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior, do it now while you have a chance. Don't wait until tomorrow for tomorrow's not promised. Do it now while you have the chance. Do it. And I mean do it. So that is my video for tonight. I'm about to get into my word. And I'm about to pray even harder because something is brewing. That's all I'm going to say. Something is brewing right now. Something is brewing. And the Holy Spirit is about to have its way with me. That's all I'm going to say. So may God continue to keep you all. May he bless you all. Be blessed.